tonight with updates from the scene. Anna? Keith and Joanne, I want to point out to you, since we last spoke at 5 o'clock, a perimeter has been set up with some fencing around the building because it is, as you can see, uh, pretty unstable at this point. I know that structural engineers are on scene, and I'm working to get a comment from them to uh, determine what exactly caused this collapse here today. We're on Central Avenue in Dunkirk, and as you're looking at it, part of this building collapsing unexpectedly around noon today, and as you mentioned, no one was hurt. That is the miracle today. The building is used by the Chautauqua County Rural Ministry. It houses apartments, a soup kitchen, a warehouse, and a food pantry. Portion of the building that collapsed was used as storage, so luckily no one was living up in that part. Just downstairs and next door, Bob Valvo from Biker Bob's Motorcycle Shop had just sat down to begin work when the collapse happened. Well, I was inside. I was at my desk just starting to get some work done, and then I heard kind of a bang, and then it's, uh, I wasn't sure. It almost sounded like it was an earthquake. I mean, the building shook. Uh, it was, I never heard a sound. It was a deafening roar. It's scary, but it's, I think I'm in some kind, I still think I'm, I might be in some kind of shock, you know, that you, it really hasn't sunk in. I mean, it's almost like you're standing outside yourself. Bob, who you just heard from, and everyone else making it out safe and okay tonight. I want to bring in Jay Bonafide with the American Red Cross, who is down here. And I know you have some new information on you're helping these families. Where will they be staying tonight? Yeah, we've been meeting with them all day, and thankfully we've been able to partner with SUNY Fredonia to meet for their uh, or to, to take care of their immediate housing needs, their emergency housing needs. Our volunteers will continue to work with them on things like food and clothing, medication replacement, mental health services, and then we'll work with the landlord. Lord with the county officials and all the local officials and start working on a long-term plan as well. So you said about 16 families and it's just a miracle tonight, Jay, that those families made it out okay and safe and thank you for your efforts here. So we will be in Dunkirk. Uh, we'll be back for you live at 11 o'clock tonight with hopefully some new information from the city. I'm working to get a comment from them on uh, what structural engineers have said about this collapse. But for now, reporting live in Dunkirk, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.